So we've been covering Chris Chan's jail letters for many, many months now. But the whole time he was doing this, apparently he was also sending some artwork out. And the artwork, ladies and gentlemen, is just as batshit as, like, you'd expect it to be. It's it's a mix of Chris's, like, normal Sonichu shit, but then he's got to throw a bunch of Jesus elements in there now, you know? That's, that's the type of time he's on. So Chris sent this all to that group, the Praetor, the one that was, like, in contact with Chris before he uh, went into jail. And also recently, Chris has said that this is where he had met Bella from. He'd met Bella through this group, the Praetor. So now Chris is sending them artwork. I guess they're trying to make some money or some shit. But we're going to take some of these pictures. We're going to look at them. And we're going to react to Chris's artwork from jail. So I hope you guys enjoy this video because it's going to be it's gonna be another wacky one. So let's jump right into it. So the first one we're going to look at here is a picture of uh, Jesus Chris Chan Sonichu, or who I assume is Chris Chan's version of himself as Sonichu, and he's working at like a restaurant or some shit, and dancing around in the kitchen, while one of the patrons of the restaurant exclaims, that god sure can bust a move, and Chris is there doing the disco thing, um, so you know, this is... <laughs> You know, that, of course, we're jumping right into it. It used to be, you know, wow, Chris Chan Sonichu is such a hero. Now it's, oh, it's God. <laughs> Holy shit, look over there. God's working behind the counter at this Friendly's. And you can tell this is Chris's ship because at the bottom he writes his Jesus Chris Chan Sonichu and his little logo. So Chris is putting his seal of approval and letting you know this is some real, authentic, legit Sonichu artwork, ladies and gentlemen. If you're one of these people who's been clamoring for this, which I don't know how many of you are out there, but if you are, well, here you go. Now, some of these pictures are going to have a lot of text to read because you know it's Chris. He just loves doing that shit. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power, power enriched by the heart. The controller serves to unify the chaos. So when he says controller, I'm assuming he's bringing this back to video game shit like he always does. I mean, shit, he's talking about servers too. So you know what type of, you know what, you know where Chris is going with this. I pray to Mama Jesus Christ Chan this works. Cyan Master Emerald of our Quickville, I need you and the other six Master Emeralds to save both Earths. Um, uh, so, I don't know who Scion Master is, I guess it's just different colored emeralds, I, I, to be honest guys, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, if this is something based off of Sonic, I never was really into Sonic as a kid, the one game I played the shit out of was Sonic Heroes, and I don't think I ever finished it, so, Chaos Emeralds, all that stuff, not really up my alley, but, you know, it's up Chris's alley, and he'll talk about the shit to the cows come home, so, you know, it, it's good to see that he's still in jail, um, thinking about this type of stuff, you know, it's not all Jesus shit, you know, Sonic stuff and Pokemon shit and all that, it's still, it's still firmly within his head, so he's not gonna lose that type of knowledge anytime soon. In the next piece of art, we just have two Sonichus, which one looks like, uh, they both look female, so I guess they might be both Chris. I don't know the, the fucking anatomy of a Sonichu. All I know is that Chris drew a bunch of stars in the top and the bottom, and it looks like halfway through drawing the stars, he just got really antsy and did them really fast. That's why some of them just look like kind of smudges. So, you know, but Chris knows about more, Norton, Chris knows more about art than I do, so who the fuck am I to call him out on his stars? In the next picture, we have Rose Chu holding a lightning blade, and behind her is some giant robot thing. Kind of looks like a Lego guy, and he's cut in half. And I guess Chris is implying that Rose Chu just fucked his day up something fierce. Um, and that's, that's pretty much all we got here, you know. It's good to see Rose Chu still kicking ass. In the next picture, we have Sonichu punching the ground, putting his fist up in the air, and shouting, Chaos Control! Um, in the background, I think you can see a little bit of a city. I like I like when Chris does that. I like I like the city in the background. That's one of the things in these drawings that I actually go. You know what, Chris? That's that's a nice little touch. At least I think that city's in the background. It could just be more lines and smudges and just just squiggles like is all around this type of picture here. Uh, I'm not not too sure what all that is. I guess it's lightning. I don't know why I didn't assume it was lightning to begin with. But yeah, it looks like Sonichu's just casting a major thunderstorm on the city. Probably mad at them for some trolling shit, and he's just, he's gonna wipe them all the fuck out. This next one is Chris's ego on full display. It's himself, it's Chris's own caricature of himself, you know, Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu. And they have like a veil, or what I assume is angel's wings, and they're just flying, kind of, I assume letting everyone know that they are God, and that, you know, we should fear them. And, you know, this is another... 
It's another one of Chris's wacky drawings here. As you can see, as I already brought up, you can see it's his. He's, he's sure to write Jesus Christ Chan Sanchu and all them. Just because you don't want no one stealing this type of beautiful artwork. You got to put your name all over that some bitch. So in the next one, we have Chris Chan in his Sanachu form sitting on a rainbow. Looks like he's like eating uh, two caramel apples or something. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if those are Pokeballs or Sanachu balls, or Schu balls, I should say. I don't think those are the Chaos Emeralds. I'm, I'm thinking Chris just got himself a nice little treat and he's sitting up there. Doesn't want to share them with anyone else, so that's why he's on the cloud, or the, the rainbow, I should say. And, you know, the things is, um, Chris can't have crayons in jail. So, they don't expect any of these pictures to be colored and all that. He definitely wants to start coloring this shit, but he knows, he knows he can't. Jail don't want no types of crayons in there. They know Chris could get violent with them things. So in the next one, Chris is going for a very deep picture here. He's going to try to make you feel something with this one. Happiness can just be a hug away, even if you're hugging yourself. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a good sentiment, Chris. It's a good sentiment. But, you know, you gotta remember, when, it, when Chris is saying this, it doesn't mean, you know, love yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Find, like, inner peace amongst yourself. Chris genuinely is trying to think that he's hugging his Sonichu form right there in that picture. And then there's probably like a Jesus, a Jesus form that can come and hug them. There's probably like four or five Chris's that are all going to get together in this big group hug. And that's what Chris is. That's what I think he's thinking in his mind when he says that. In this one, Sonichu is flying across the sky with a net on his back. I don't know if that's a net or it's supposed to be like a paraglider or what it's supposed to be. Kind of like, I'm getting like Legend of Zelda vibes with Link holding that like paraglider and flying, but I'm also getting Super Mario World vibes with like that last boss battle where Mario's in the airplane. I don't know why, but yeah. So in the next one, we have a prayer said by one Angelica Rose Chu, another one of Chris's fucking characters, and it says, I pray for the good health, safety, and well-being of all who are shifting to our humble universe's earth in our Lord and God's second coming. May ye all be blessed. Oh, this was around the ye all phase. Fuck. But, um, yeah, Chris is just giving, um, you know, prayers to all the good people, the non-toxics and all that. That's why I don't think Chris haven't had to mention that, because if you are toxic, you wouldn't be shifting anyway. So, that's, uh, Angelica's here just praying to Chris like everyone should be doing. And she also, you know, it, it's not supposed to look like that. I think Chris is just drawing these backgrounds, but with that background Chris gave, it looks like she has one big fucking afro. Like, look at that. Look at that picture. And just now you, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Like, Angelica is rocking a fucking well, a mean fro. In the next one, we have a meetup of Sonichus in which Sonichu in the middle says, Wow, look at them all. What a diverse group. Now, maybe this is sarcasm from Chris, but I, I, I think this picture was intended to be colored in, which all of them would be like different colors and shit. But as of right now, this just looks like nine of the same guys just duplicated onto one page. Um, not, not a very diverse group at all. Now, right here, we got Sonichu and Rose Chu. Actually, that's probably fucking Chris Chan again. He can't keep himself out of this. It was supposed to be a love interest between Sonichu and Rose Chu, and now Chris is just fucking everybody, I think. But, you know, this is one of the last pictures without a wall of fucking text behind it, because Chris has a lot of interesting things to say still in these pictures. It's kind of still like the letters. He's, he's going to use these to get his fucking message out there. But in this picture, you know, it's just him, it's Sonichu. Maybe that's actual... No, it's not actual Sonic. That is Sonichu. And it's more of those crudely drawn stars in the background chris kind of gives up on that like bottom like right bottom right handed uh like the part of the star you know chris can't do that right he just every other part of the star looks fine but that little bottom right hand piece is just always a fucking little stump or something um here is the sonichu temple after it is merged it's going to be next to a city now it's going to be near uh, a bunch of woods, which it kind of already is. And it's going to be near, it looks like an apartment building because it has a bunch of, maybe an office building. But, you know, that's what Chris talks about. When the dimensional merge happens and the Sonichu Temple, which is his house, gets moved, it's just going to get moved closer to the city. Probably because Chris wants to live there anyway. In this picture, we see a Sonichu with a third eye. I don't know who that is, but he's sitting... Next to his window, which outside the window you can see people walking by having a good life. I assume that's Chris's way of coping. He's like, oh man, that's me there looking out into all these people having a good life. I can't wait to get back out there. But, um, you know, it's good to see also that the drinking straw on the drink that this Sonichu is drinking is normal sized. So if Chris has learned anything from jail, he's learned what straws actually look like. 
I stand corrected. That's not even a drink. That looks like a flashlight. And that straw, well, what I thought was a straw, is just a bunch of... It looks like a bunch of twigs or maybe a maybe a lightning bolt coming out of that. I don't know. Maybe a flashlight. I don't fucking know. I don't know what Chris is trying to draw here and why this dude has a third eye and a bunch of, like, you know, lines coming off of his cheeks. This is a pretty it's a pretty dangerous looking Sonichu right here. You wouldn't want to see this dude in a dark alleyway. Now, as you can see on screen, this one, this particular picture is a fucking mess. Because, you know, I, I guarantee you, you probably can't read what's on the screen right now. So I'm going to read it off for you because it's just a whole lot of writing. But, um, <laughs> so look, let's get into this. This is almost a whole letter in itself, this fucking page. So as I crashed into the cold, dark waters of the Atlantic, I realized a few things. I know where I am going, yet only some idea of how or when to get there. Salt water stings, but I can swim. I shouldn't even be here right now. But I am. Why? Because Bella and Noel betrayed me. They betrayed me. And yet I still wonder if either of them were a better kisser than Judas Iscariot. I'm wet. I'm cold. There's a hippo on my head. And clearly I'm not going to be able to do this on my own. So, you know, I thought I thought we were leaning down the path of Chris, you know, taking it back to Sonichu, you know, maybe saying that, oh, there was a giant squid monster in the water, whoa, but no, no, the second he dropped into the Atlantic and as he sits there in the ocean with nothing around him but the sound of silence and his own thoughts, the only thing Chris can think of is those fucking assholes, they did this to me, they got me in this jail cell, because he's now forgotten about that he's writing a Sonichu comic and he's now back to his own, his own like like problems in real life, which always happens in Sonichu comics. Chris can never go too long without bringing in his own personal issues. But yeah, I love where this went. I fucking love where that went. Just, oh, it's because of those fuckers that I'm here in the oceans with this stinging salt water and all that bullshit. Just, what a fucking. <laughs> and you can see, and you can see, there's Chris with his two different colored eyes. That's C Jesus, uh, Chris Chan Sonichu right there, because he decided to color himself in blue because. You got a blue pen, it's the only color you can use, and lo and behold, Chris Chan Sonichu, uh, his version of himself is blue, so Chris managed to, you know, luck out on that one. But yeah, you can see him right there, drenched in water, and I'm pretty sure another page coming up soon is that same Sonichu all drenched in water, looking really sad. So yeah, it's not a good time for old, uh, for old Chris here, because he's just, he's just, he's floundering in that water. So in the next one, I think Chris is still, you know, sitting on, or no, I think that's regular Sonichu now, I don't fucking know. But they're on the rainbow again, or maybe that's a wave, like a tsunami, I guess Chris being in the ocean, that's why he was there to fuck some people up with a tsunami. But I don't know where they're at right here, you can see like, it looks like the, the what is it, the Sky Needle in, in Seattle, so maybe he's, he's in the Pacific, he said he was in the Atlantic in that last picture, so he must be riding that tsunami pretty fucking far if he's all the way over in Seattle. Chris is just planning on fucking everybody up once he gets out, is he? Or at least through his drawings. He's gonna make sure all these haters and toxics pay. Now this next one is the best one. This one, uh, I, I, <laughs> this shit right here is entitled A Interview with God. Um, so as you can see, I don't even know where to start reading this. There's so much fucking writing. But my favorite part about it is up at the top. And it's very hard to read, but you can see it. And it says, seriously, Gibby. <laughs> That's Gibby. That's Gibby up there in the corner. You are neutral and present. Show that arrogance do not be a toxic one. I don't even know. It's so hard to read what that little scrunch is right there. But that's Gibby up there in the corner giving a thumbs up. So Gibby's safe. Well, as, you know, Dylan Thomas and Bella and Noel, all them are fucking assholes. So Gibby can sleep easily at night knowing that he's going to Dimension C198, whatever the fuck, once it happens. But let's start reading this because they ask uh, Chris apparently something about pride. And Chris says, well... Pride is not a sin, for one needs some self-esteem and confidence to motivate themselves and inspire others with heart and soul. The real deadly sin is arrogance. What a what a fucking dose of irony that is. Thou should never go dark and greatly, selfishly, conniving, narcissistic, conceited, or arrogant. To do that is to fall and burn like Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump, or even someone like Gibby, who is at his own <laughs> selfish risk. What? Okay, so so never mind. Gibby, Gibby apparently is in trouble. I take that all back. Gibby, 
<laughs> you better start tossing and turning at night now because you may be in trouble here. Um, and then self-love and love of others, non-selfishness. Fuck, Chris. I mean, you know, it's it's literally, it's obvious. It's Chris. You know, he's never going to understand the shit he's saying. But, like, it's always, I, I said this in my Cyrax video the other day. The funniest thing about locales to me is when they'll sit here and just say all this shit about you. You people are all this. You people are this. You people are that. And they're just describing themselves down to a fucking T. And like I said, with Chris, he'll never see that. He'll never see that he's doing that, but just... Fuck, it's, it's, it's all, never funny to me, but that's on WTOP News. I wonder, was that always the, I thought it was a different news station. I thought it was, oh no, that was the radio station. That was KCWC. But then at the bottom it says, Jesus Christine Chandler Sonichu, Lord and Goddess. And then interviewed by Neil Augustine. Topic equals Pride Month. The topic was Pride Month. The topic was Pride Month and that was your fucking answer? He just heard the word pride and went on a spiel about that. And it, Chris is part, like, so isn't he part of the LGBT community? How the fuck did he make a, a message about Pride Month so much about himself? Obviously, you know, I kind of answered my own question because he's, look at the top there. Selfish, arrogant, narcissistic, conceited, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's Chris. It's nothing to be, ex nothing that surprising, but fuck. What, what a wacky page that one was. I don't know why half the last picture cut into this one, but we can see it's a picture of uh, who I assume is Chris as his Sonichu form in like some flaming ball of fire. I guess like this is his thing of like, you know, that, that whole Catholic thing when the sun danced and all that. You're going to look up in the sky and see uh, and see Chris up in the fucking sun. <laughs> but Chris says, but unto you that fear my name, Jesus Christine Weston Chandler Sonichu. Chris, people can't fear your name if you're constantly changing it every seven fucking seconds. Like, relax. Shall the sun of righteousness arise with healing in their wings? <sighs> the sun of righteousness? So he is, so Chris is the sun. Not only does the world revolve around Chris, but it absolutely does now. Because, you know, Chris is the sun. Um, wow. You know, it's just, that's just... Getting straight to the point right there, Chris. You really, everything truly does revolve around Chris. I, we, it's it's great to finally, to finally know that. The next one, <laughs> the next one, you can see it on screen now. You're probably like, what the fuck? You can't read that, even if you tried. You can probably try to zoom in and see it. I tried to fit this all on one page in the screen, and it looks like that. Like, you can't, you can't read that shit. It's hard as fuck right now. So I'm going to have to read that one to y'all and get ready because it's another wacky-ass one. I don't know who this character is sitting here. I assume I'm going to find out once I start reading into it. But it looks like a Batman version of Sonichu or like a Batgirl version of Sonichu or maybe even Catwoman. Who knows? Chris is all over the fucking place with these characters. Well, darling, to answer the plot hole questions of my life, I was born on the Earth's moon. Graduan had reached out to me in my naive stupor and teleported me to Earth in his and Mary Lee Walsh's presence. They accelerated my evolution from Rosie to Rose 2 and my age and level by about 15 or 50 years. They had injected ditto genetics into my body and uh, magically balanced it. Graduan had also put a steel a spell on my uterus to not reproduce or uh launch the ovium into the what the fuck obium into it guys if i get any of this wrong like like just, just let me go on this one because this is fucking really hard to read with how little all this writing is it's a lot it's just really fucking just tricky to see um i was born intersex so i had both genitals <laughs> jesus Anyway, over the time, Graduan had disabled my psychic link with the cosmos and universe, and all I had was their word, guidance, and commands to go on and with. It wasn't until 2006 when I was on a mission for information on Christian's defense plans that I was encountered by and met Magichan. He had looked into me and known of I being greatly linked with the cosmos, for I was a real star child. 
Magichan told me to open my mind and think of the cosmos and the universe's core. I broke myself out of Graduan's spells and soon after and woke to the ultimate truths. After leaving Walsh and Graduan, I'd broken all but the transformation spells in meditations and work with Magichan. I vowed for the greater good of everyone and myself. Darling, darling, get the fuck out of here. You did not just write that, Chris. It, <laughs> Uh, in time, I had learned of my and appreciated Chris Chan, Christ Chan, of course he fucking did, for everything that she has been, uh, eyes and so forth. I married and joined her polyamorous relationship out of love and compassion for her as an individual who stands strong with warrior's heart and fortitude. Anyway, darling, he did it again, you fucker. My specialty in my powers is cosmic. More so than a Lunala, if you wish. You ain't, you ain't beating Lunala. Get out of here with that. And I only liked Russia for its lovely scenery and historic architecture. <laughs> no, no other reason. No other reason. My accent stems from my past life as a scullery maid in the country. So that's why he's saying dalling, but nothing else is like, nothing else, just dalling is, uh, it's Christ, Chris, he's all, uh. I have lost interest in Russia. Between the misdeeds of a Khan in C-1987 and Vladimir Putin in 1218, it goes without saying, darling. Stop, Chris, for fuck's sake. Such massive arrogance and toxicities and cruel and crude, I really do not care for all that all, darling. From Silvana Rose Chu. So Silvana Rose Chu has like a fucking New Yorker's accent, I guess. Like a scully maid, like Chris says, whatever. Scener I, don't, I don't even know anymore. A scullery... I I'm just choking over my own words here after reading that shit. So that's there's your backstory on Angelica or Silvana Rose Chu, if you guys were interested in that. Um, that's one of Chris's partners. That's one of Chris's, like, I guess, someone in his harem. He's married to this thing on screen you see right now. So, you know, good for you, Chris. You're winning. You're winning at every turn. So this is the one I was telling you all about earlier. This is where we got wet, sad Sonichu. Uh, this is Chris after, I guess, swimming his way out of the Atlantic Ocean. And now he's just, you know, still sulking over Bella and Noel. Just, just backstabbing him and betraying him. So, yeah. Um, you know, to be fair, though, you can say Bella did. Noel, Noel, <laughs> Noel had to. You know, you can't keep associating with someone who does the shit Chris does after they do it. But apparently now Gibby is on that watch list too, so, you know, we'll still see. I don't know how Gibby got brought up on that level, but it's probably because someone just messaged Chris in jail, gave him a letter and said, hey, Gibby's covering all these two, and Chris was not having that. So for the last two, we got a, a bit of writing to read once again. This is Krizel Sonichu now, and I guess they're going to give their fucking backstory. Here, here we go. Here we, here we fucking go again. I was born a few years ago, but I am actually a lot older by at least a century and well, behind, well beyond level 100. After Magichan awoke me to my past life as a female wizard with great magic and portal power, I was actually surprised of my innate ability to ex interdimensionally travel with these portals. I had built up my age and experiences with time spent in a dimension where time worked faster, and my return here was hardly a minute past, and my body uh, remained youthful and energetic as it is for a special Rosichu. So yes... Humans of 1218 Earth. I was well over the age of consent when I married Magichan and Christina. So this is what this is. Chris is explaining that no, no, no. Even though this character is only like seven years old, like canonically, and was only born seven years ago, you know, they're still cool to be married to Chris, just in case you were wondering. My feelings and emotions for Christine were authentic after learning of her past as well as her destiny. She should not have been bullied, but the events reshaped her as was needed. I also had wed on duty to help guide and have compassion for her. I care for her and the others and myself very much. Of course you care about yourself. It's all you care about. Very much deep and genuinely. The inter-universe relationship with the tangibility barrier has been tough on some communications, but I remain faithful, steadfast, and loyal, and Christine always shows me care and compassion with our talks together and in always remembering me in acknowledging an acknowledgement. Despite the lingering barrier, I love Christine, Magichan, Silvana, and Mewtwo, and I have no regrets in our wedlock. 
So the, the the barrier the barrier they're speaking of is just jail. That's why that's why they can't see Chris. You know, um, I, I'm pretty sure Chris had already said that Magic Chan and all them were in the jail cell with him for a time. So I guess I guess now that's not the case. Um, but yeah, there you have uh, Chriselle Rose Chu chilling at like another restaurant, giving her giving her side of the story on what's happening to Chris, and it seems really like old Chriselle over here is just parroting all of Chris uh, Chris's classic lines. It's almost like Chris is the one deciding what she has to say. You know, it's just it's ridiculous. And the final drawing is a picture of a computer that I guarantee you, Chris, he's fucking, he is just chomping at the bit. He is so ready to get on his computer again, so he just wants to draw one and all the shit he's gonna look up and type when he does. At the top, you can see Come Adore, which last week in the letters we found out is now Chris's, that's the whole Commodore 64 thing, how he's the goddess of the Commodore. Well, you should all come adore him. You know, get it? Because he's God as well. Fuck. Dimensional merge load 81. Loading dot dot dot. Completed. Avatar underscore Jesus underscore Christ load 81. Loading dot dot dot. Avatar underscore Jesus underscore Christine underscore Weston underscore Chandler underscore Sonichu 4.0. Awakening dot dot dot. Loading dot dot dot. Completed. Modern underscore Malachi load 81. Completed. Modern Revelations 8, load 8.1, completed. Shift to Recombined Earth, load 8.1, in progress. Avatar underscore second underscore coming, load completed. Run. The, well, the run right there, I don't like. That's a little bit threatening, but this is all being done on a Commodore 64, as you can see. And yeah, so once again, Chris, um, the way Chris is a god... And the way, you know, he sees his, his godhood and how all this shit works is like a computer, you know? It's all he can, like, it's all he can draw parallels from because it's all he knows. He knows this technological shit. That's why it's all about video games. It's all about Sonichu. And now that he has a Bible in his reach, it's all about Jesus shit as well. So, <laughs> what, what weird fucking drawings. And Chris sent these to, like I said, those people at the Prater. And they've been selling them somewhere. People are buying these. What the fuck is wrong with you? But, um... Yeah, that, that's, this is what Chris has been doing. A lot of you guys had asked me, is Chris still drawing, you know? I can't wait to see the Sonichu art when Chris gets out of jail. Well, this is the this is actually probably the next best thing you got because it's a lot of just a lot of kookiness here. The, the Gibby page is by far my favorite thing. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite thing I've seen in a while. But yeah, just um just what a fucking what well, what a weird set of uh, a weird set of artwork here sent out by Chris, but you know he's got to be doing something to take his mind off of jail shit, and this is it apparently. So, you know that's that's that. We are inching closer and closer to Chris's hearing date, and as more like when it comes out, you guys know I'll have a video out for y'all. I'm gonna have another video probably later this week on you know what to expect again because a lot of people seem to think this is a trial, not just a hearing. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, we got a whole bunch of shit to talk about. We we've been talking a lot about Cyrax on this channel. Yeah, it's been so fucking fun. We're gonna get back to talking about old Ralph. He's not been as funny lately, but he he'll get back to it. It's fucking Ralph, you know. I want to do another video on Wings soon too. So you know, just uh, I hope you guys stay tuned to the channel and you like what you see because I got a lot more coming and I hope you guys enjoy it. But I want to give shouts out to Mick Surly, Sky, Echo Spectre, Scaly Schisms, Worman Bjornsson, the Ghostbusters fan, Cody Hale, your mom, Club Doom, Liz Vender, Krabby, and Vanessa. You guys are all fucking goats. And all y'all watching this right now, you're a goat too. If you've made it this far, I don't know how you did it, but you did. So I want to say thank you, and I hope I see you in the next one. And, you know, guys, it is Saturday. It is a great day. Go relax today. Go make yourself whatever your favorite food is or go out to dinner. Have yourself a drink. If you don't drink, pour yourself up a nice cold water, a nice cold lemonade because it's a hot fucking day out there. And if you smoke, well, spark one up, my friends, and just enjoy enjoy the weekend. Uh, you know, just, just chill out because you deserve it. You need some time to chill. And, you know... Next week, you know, it'll be back at the weekend before you even know it, and you've got all tomorrow, too. So, my friends, I hope you guys have a great, a great day, and I'll, I'll see you on the next one, and take care. Stay safe, my friends.